Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'm going to be going brushless on my SCX24 and Horror Rock Buggy. I'm going to be using the uh, and Horror Fat Viper Outrunner brushless motor. I'm going to jump right into the video and go over a few things about the build. All right, guys. I've been debating going brushless on my custom and Horror Rock Buggy for a long time, and I'm finally going to make that plunge. I just ordered the uh, In Horror Fat Viper motor. Here's the uh, motor here. Three prong brushless connector, screws and gears, and looks like a carbon fiber plate. These tiny little screws here are to connect the uh, gears onto the motor shaft here. Very tiny, so make sure you don't lose those. If you haven't seen the original build video and the progression of this rig, just go back through my channel. I'll link a few videos. Uh, you know, and I'll have basically the start of this build all the way to this point. But as you can see, here's the outrunner motor here. I had to shave a little bit of the hood and the inside of the frame on this rock buggy. And I had to remove, obviously, the, uh, you know, the seats that were in there. I moved my ESC from the front under the uh, hood here to the roof and also my receiver was removed from this side driver door over here to the roof here to make some space the fat viper is pretty pretty uh big width wise and it's going to be forward facing instead of rear like the brush motor that i was originally using the Nora pro okay as you can see here The slow crawl is, of course, very slow and smooth, which you get from most good brushless motors. I'm going to come on up here. Extremely smooth, slow crawl. Originally, I was using the, the Purple and Horror Pro brush motor, which is a good motor, but you just can't get this great slow speed that you can get out of brushless motors. I'm still using the Lizard Pro ESC. Gonna now move over here to this straight up climb on this hill. Slow crawl up here. Belly rubbing a little bit here. But we got it. Okay, coming back up here to this seat hill. Slow crawl is very beautiful. 
And I just love seeing that motor turning in the in the front of the hood right there. Something about the slow crawl on these brushless motors with the flex of the suspension that looks just very beautiful when you're crawling. That you just can't get with the brushed motors. that off okay we're gonna come over here to my ramp <sighs> basically right now on a 59 degree incline I hadn't actually tested this rig on the board since I did the uh, suspension stretch on the links Okay, did that, but uh, let me move this up to about 62, there we go. I could possibly use some lemon straps. I haven't put any lemon straps on here yet. It would probably make me easily get this 62. Nope. Okay, I threw on a quick limiting strap. success there one thing with this fat viper motor is um, it's very large and with the long extended uh, drive shafts here the uh, if it gets too low I have to pretty much run stiff suspension then the uh, motor rubs the uh, drive shaft here so that's a problem it's an easy fix as long as you're running some stiff suspension that'll some stiff suspension that'll uh, you know keep the uh, shaft from touching the motor but if I was to make this limiting strap a little bit tighter which I could in most cases it would uh, bring the shaft closer to the motor and it would it would rub so I could I know for sure that I can get more than a 62 degree here but because of that issue I can't tighten the limiting strap more in this situation. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. 
Um, if you're interested in any of the installs on brushless motors, I have a couple videos that I'll link in the description where I'll install like the Mofo RC ROP pancake motor on a Bronco. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of the general same install on most of those. I was actually using the Enhora transmission on this build, which worked pretty good here, which works really good here. Um, I also just, you know, added a small magnet mounted um, decor here to hide the um, battery. But yeah, like and subscribe to the channel, guys.